And we got uh, somebody calling in. 978 area code, you're on the air. Yeah, this is Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, are, are you talking about from I Got My Reason show? That's right. Well, how are you doing? Fine. I'm glad you called in because I know you have very uh, opposition viewpoints to what I'm saying here. Opposing? Opposing? I think that's the word you're looking for. Yeah, well, what, what's going on? What, what, do you have something to chime in about, or are you just going to you know, accuse me of being a show? No, I'm, just, this, this I'm just trying to uh, understand your logic and where you're coming from because – it really, I think that you're getting so much shit from both sides because you truly are a caveman. A, a what? A caveman. Oh, uh, well, look, the reason I'm getting a supposed uh, heat from the other side, which is the right side, these are all social conservatives, or excuse me, social liberals that are posing as conservatives that are basically trying to, you know, use me as, oh, well, you know, he, he's an imbecile. I mean, well, I, and, right. No, absolutely not. Oh, but, but because I'm acknowledging a social phenomenon that's crippling our society. There's nothing crippling our society except for people like you. How am I crippling society? I mean, provide Bye. substance. Don't 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 just don't, don't just name call. I mean, honestly, if you believe that, give me some substance, please. Because there's no reason for anyone in this day and age to think that women do not should not have equal rights. I, I've never claimed women should not have equal rights, ma'am, with all due respect. That's exactly what you're claiming. No, no I'm not. I, I, and I've just stipulated that here in the beginning of the show. I acknowledge the fact that there was a social problem uh, at the turn of the 20th century and previous that suppressed women. I acknowledge the fact that the the feminists at the turn of the 20th century were true patriots that accorded the woman the right to work, that accorded the woman the right to vote. I've acknowledged this. I'm not trying to suppress women. I don't want women like I've been suggested in every one of these emails that I get, that I want women barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. That's not what I'm suggesting. What That's I'm su what it sounds like. It's not what I'm suggesting, ma'am. What I'm suggesting is is that you've got the feminist movement of the 60s that has completely corrupted the, the average. I'm not just saying a, 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 a American woman. It didn't American corrupt woman. me. It didn't well, corrupt me. Well, I understand, and you told me that you've been married for a long time. You've got a you got a, a, a husband who's a soldier, and, and let me tell you, I commend you. I give you much credit for that, because let me tell you, the American family is becoming extinct, ma'am, and that's the only thing. That's the only reason why I bring up the feminist movement is because it has corrupted the the uh, woman mind into believing that they can it hasn't basically corrupted anything. It actually helped a lot of women. So it's not you, you, corrupting them. So you think it's okay to just be, you know, casually married, go in and out of divorce? You, you think it's like woman liberation for women just to go ahead and have children at will with multiple different partners? I mean, this is I the social norm. Should do, I think a woman should do what is, whatever is best for her family and herself, whether that be stay married to someone or not. So uh, you're saying to me that it's okay – for the social phenomenon of single parent families to just be socially acceptable. I mean, have you submitted to that? I mean, because I haven't. I mean, I, I don't like the fact that you know children are being raised by by one parent that's usually at work, and then they're dumped off on a on a boob tube or a violent video game or the internet. And these these are the the the, the technological innovations that are that are raising our children today. I mean, that's all I'm saying. I mean, you, you, you even got them raising them at the formative years from, from age uh, zero to about five. They're in front of these ridiculous – I'm sorry? Three. Well, zero just, to it, three is the most important. I'm sorry? Zero to three is their formative years. That's when they are uh, developing the most. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I just I, I extended it to five because you learn a lot as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I acknowledge the fact that the formative years are, are zero through three, but I mean, I extend it to five because you know the, you've you've got a corrupt world out here that you got to shield these children away from, and and that's all I'm saying. And you're not going to be able to shield them by just dumping them off on a television set. I mean, I, I've got a, I've got a granddaughter. That's the, parent, that's the parents' responsibility. You're, what you're doing is you're blaming a few bad eggs in the world on all women. Well, it's not 
a few bad eggs. It's become the social norm. I mean, if this was just a minority. No, it really hasn't. It, it has, ma'am. I disagree with you. Just look at the statistics. I, I, I mean, this has become the social norm. I mean, if you're, if you're a woman that's 25 years of age and you don't have at least two, two children, other women are going to look at you and look at you cross-eyed. Like, well, what, what's that's, wrong with that's you? That's not true. That's not true. I'm that, sorry, that is complete. That, that is com- that is. Well, a friend well, of mine is 28 years old, and she just had her first child, and nobody thought anything about it. Oh, nobody and what part of the? What part of the? I'm sorry. What? Go ahead. Nobody looked at her. You know, people are having children later in life these days. Because I, there's nothing wrong with that. Fact, just for the simple fact that they want to be able to be there for those kids. It's there's been a study. There, it's fact. No, no. People I, are not having people are not having children as young anymore. I, where I, are you I, getting this from? I you completely and your family pissed you off to where you believe that everybody in the world is like this because they're not. I'm in look, Virginia. Well, look at the statistic. Well, you're in Middle America, and you see, this is why you haven't seen it. I mean, Middle America no, is the I've only been thing. All over the country, I have family in Massachusetts. I have family in Louisiana. I have family in Michigan. I have family all over the country that so, I do go and visit all the time. So, are you not acknowledging that there's a social problem? Are you just saying that it's, everything's okay? Is that what you're just trying to tell me here? That everything is I'm okay. I'm saying that, that I think that we live in a wonderful country right now, where we don't have people like you in power who hold women down. How am I holding women down? Can can you explain to me things that I have stated where I have advocated well, okay, the subjugation example, of women? For example, just because you're a little ignorant about it, children are not born. They, women don't shit children out. They come out of the vagina. Okay, that's okay. No, 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 no. I didn't ask you that. I, I didn't ask you that. I asked you what did I say? What have I ever said where I've advocated the subjugation or the suppression of women? Now, now I understand that maybe you disagree with some of the rhetoric that I spout off, and that's that's more than you're right. But I'm just simply stating what have I stated ever, where I, I've said I want women subjugated. I, I I've been told that I've advocated violence towards women, which I had never have. That that I want them in the bare, in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant, which I've never stated. I mean, what have I said where I'm basically suppressing women, or I'm, I'm advocating the subjugation of women? Please. Everything that comes out of your mouth. But, but you see, that's a blanketed statement. There's no substance behind that. All you're doing I is just... The, just said the kettle. I'm sorry? I said said the kettle. You're talking you're, about you're, me making bla- bla- blanket statements and generalizing. That's exactly what you're doing. You're, but, you're generalizing every single woman out there. You're saying that they're going to have five kids, that they put them in front of the television, or they put them in front of whatever. They do, the ma'am. Hey, it's a social don't. norm. It's the social like norm. I have 500 friends I can show you that don't do that, that are con- more concerned about anything in their world. It's hard enough in this country for a woman to make it, and then there's people like you who turn around and say they get exactly what they deserve. That's not right. That's what, why people from both sides of the fence think you're a nutball. Well... I am not a nutball, okay? I'm just acknowledging the social uh, ills of society, and everybody just wants to turn a blind eye to it. I mean, the statistics prove you wrong, ma'am. And, of course, you hung up because you don't want to debate anymore. And I don't blame you. 